Hi everyone, um, thank you for coming back to visit me. It's really nice to see you all again, even though I can't see any of you. I just wanted to say thank you very much for all your feedbacks. It means a lot to me um, and it really helps me and gives me the confidence to carry on. Here I am, I've got my lovely, lovely lady again. Ooh la la. I can't, I'm sorry, I can see anywhere I can say your name. You said that beautifully, thank Ooh, you very much. <laughs> So what I'm going to do today is um, more, we did a very relaxed makeup last week, we're going to do a proper makeup today and I'm going to show you some of the um, products that I, I like using. Before I begin, I just want to, would like to say to you, um, I had to clean my brushes, I didn't have to but I wanted to and I didn't have any IPA which is it's isopropyl alcohol, I didn't have any. But what I did use was this antibacterial hand gel and I cleaned all my brushes and it was fantastic because it, it didn't leave all that, that horrible smell inside. Anyway, forget that, here we go. I'm gonna do a lovely little base and I'm going to use this palette which is, um, which is, um, I'll have to tell you afterwards. Uh, Mac Pro. It's a, it is a, a. I love this. I love this. And I'm going to use a little brush, and I use the corner of the brush. To, and I, the one thing with foundation creams, no one has one colour skin, so it's really essential that you pick and mix, blend. I'm. I'm. I'm, I'm noted for using six or seven different colours because if you look at people, you can. I have watched makeup artists do one colour here, one colour there, one there. I haven't got time for that. So I like to mix it all up and then I do the hokey cokey and then I turn around. Because that's what it's all about. Isn't it? Yes. So. I know there are makeup artists that do one colour for there, one colour for there, but I like to come and just whack it on. I'm going one shade lighter. Maybe one shade too light, but I prefer to. And I'm not putting a lot of foundation cream on the face. You don't need to just put it on like it was no, there was no tomorrow. And it's very, very fine. I said, I like these beauty blenders. I never, I've never put makeup on as a light. When, as soon as beauty blenders came out, I loved them. I think if you use a brush, it's much heavier. Um, and I don't think you need to use a brush to blend it. Excuse me while I just bend across you. Okay, and you should always take time with foundation cream. It's the basis for the rest of the makeup, so don't rush it. I can't remember who told me that. And I take the base, just relax your mouth, close your, I take the base across the the lips, because I think it's a good bag. Look up for me. Just look to your left, like so. And to your right. And then, look down for me. And then you can just blend the whole lot in. I, I can't bear to see a heavy base on somebody. It's not, I mean, it was different when we were doing things to camera for films and stuff. But I, I like to see some of the skin showing through. So I'm just gonna blend this. I haven't used a lot. Have you been out in the sun? Mm. Yeah. What, the two days that we had, sun, we had sunshine? Oh no, not since the last time I saw you. Ah. The 
the week before. I was swimming every day, you see. I can't bear the weather that we've got at the moment. Mm, it's a bit miserable, isn't it? It's awful. I'm just going to take that up on the nose. And you see that by stippling it, you're not, and not putting it on and then rubbing it in, it will stay there. You're not moving it somewhere where you don't want it to go. Should be able to do a nice foundation cream seconds so I'm going to take a little bit of the makeup under your eye and I like to put something that's got a bit of pink to it and a tiny bit of mauve so I'm going to use this color here And I'm going to mix it with, you want to use one shade lighter, and where's my other palette? Here we are. A little bit lighter, just to go underneath the eye. I don't normally, just to say, I don't normally stick my brush in any of the pods or gla glasses or, or whatever I'm using. It's just I spent, I had nothing else to do, so I spent the whole morning cleaning everything. So everything was ready to be used. So, now what I normally do is have a mirror here. So I'm gonna ask you to hold this for me, please and hold it at a, an angle. Drop your head, drop your head forward. Now look up and it can, you can see exactly where you need to put it. You don't need to put it anywhere near or outside of that one area. So I normally when I'm working, ask someone to hold the mirror for me and I take a very, very small brush, a pointed brush, and so where the light doesn't hit it, that's where you need to put it. It looks awful when you see ladies who put loads of makeup. I also do this after I've put the foundation cream on as well, by the way. And you want to use um, a stick of something that doesn't, is not light, light, that is light reflective. Otherwise this just bounces back if you put the wrong color on. The worst thing is when you walk under, under lights and you see someone's put so much stuff under their eyes, you can see it. So a quick blend. And my thing today is I like to use clean brushes, just continuously blend it so it blends to nothing. That's why I have so many brushes. How long did your makeup stay on the last time? Was it all right? Yeah, it stayed until evening. Did it? Mm. Gosh, that's a first for me. Didn't want to take it off. Oh, bless you. Mm -hmm. All right, now look down for me. With your eye to here, look down with your eye there. So, if you ask someone to, if you're going to come in and do the center of their eye, if you ask, just tap slightly and say, look there. What it does, it spreads the skin back and you can get into the, into the center of the eye lid. Gosh, it's really hard to talk and do makeup at the same time. 
And by now, you see, all the makeup will have just settled, all the foundation cream would have settled. And then you can use your powder. And I'm going to use my favourite powder. I can never remember what it's called, but it's lovely. Oh, makeup forever. I love this powder. And I'm going to use, because you've got, because you're a little blue under the eye, I'm going to use a little bit of pink to set under the eye first. I do, I have no theme of working. When I get really into the makeup and I start throwing instruments around. Don't be scared. I'm okay. not. Okay, so look up for me. So I'm just going to very lightly powder there, powder there, and then use the same brush to blend. I just would like to say thank you very much to everybody who's been watching me and has said just the nicest possible things because I didn't know. You, you never know if you're doing well or you're not. I've lost it. I've lost it again. So I'll try a different one. Ah, here we are. So I'm going to put, make your eyes very dramatic. Um, I'm going to put some powder over you just to set the face and again I like mixing colours so this helps and I put a little bit of yellow in I run out of room when I work Okay, close your eyes please. I'm just setting it very lightly, pressing the powder on. I do very little powder on the cheeks. I think it looks awful when you, oh hello. Little hair, not mine, <laughs> for a change. Um, and that's it. Do you wear eyeliner? Yes, I do. Oh, good. I need to put the lids on these because I oh, can't be bothered. I'm very, 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 very clumsy. I'm like a bull in a china shop. Big brush across the forehead. I'm very gently take the excess powder off and that's it now I like to work down the face so I'm going to do the eyebrows first and I'm going to get myself um, an angled brush because I haven't got enough brushes here so and I, I sat and sorted them all out so I'm going to use a little bit of eyeshadow that's blusher keep that one out that's foundation cream here we are because your skin um, and hair colour are opposing colours. It's quite nice to use a really strong one for eyebrows. So before I do anything, I need to brush the eyebrows through and just make sure there isn't any powder on the eye. I'll find a brush I like in a minute. 3,000 brushes, here we are. See, I've sorted all this out. And I'm afraid when it, everything's sorted, I can't find anything. It's got to be a, it's got to be awful. So that's to take the powder out the eye. I work 
from outside in I find it much easier so I will come up here the outside and what happens if you do it that way it's easier to blend and it's a very 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 light touch I'm actually you is that uncomfortable I am just trying to kill my sneeze <laughs> oh oh it's the powder I'm sorry it's all right it's going <laughs> I'm going to have some of that. Now, the one thing you can't do is ask me afterwards what I've used. Because as you see, everything is decanted and I haven't got a clue. Which is a shame. So when you come to do your eyebrows, what I, the way I do it is you look at the way the eyebrow grows. Most, um, I always go up at the beginning, blend it, come across and then come down when you come to the outside. A little bit of that, a little bit of that. I have to say the hardest thing is not not having a mirror. So Can I hold it. I just need you to see. Mm. Ooh. Quite I'm quite impressed. <laughs> the fact that I've done this without without a mirror is just as I said, it's lovely. I made a fantastic colour on you. I don't want the eyebrows to dominate the makeup. What I want it to do is to enhance your eyes. And I'm going to bring it down just slightly on the outside. I'm, I am, I apologize in advance, but I can't bear the eyebrows that everyone's wearing at the moment, the young ladies are wearing at the moment. They start in the centre and they're really, really heavy. It's quite vicious, isn't it? <laughs> it is, I just it don't. Is. I know I'm old fashioned. I mean, I suppose if I was their age, I'd also be doing that. But the thing is, it's the one thing that I see. And I, I think anything that, you, that, that stands out from a makeup if it's too much, it looks ridiculous. And no one's got those kind of eyebrows. I love everything else they do, but... So, again, when you come to the outside, the way I do it is I come up. That way you don't put that much on the eyebrow. And just come down with what's left on your eyebrow pen brush just take it down so it should corner of the nose corner of the eye so I've gone a little bit over so I'm just going to take some of this down I love eyebrows I love 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 When I could do eyebrows, I was so excited on myself. Right, can I see you in the mirror? And that side, and that side. That's good. Like that. Oh, it's getting exciting now. Mm. I'm just going to make this one a tiny bit bigger. I tell you how I used to do it when I used to do my own makeup and whether I used to check it. Mm. I used to have my mirror here and I used to work to the mirror and I would turn my head away and I do this when I'm doing makeup on, on ladies. I turn around and then I look in the mirror and the first thing I see, 
I know I need to change. I may have made one slightly darker than the other. And I'm just going to go over that. So that we've done we've done the eyebrows. And we're going to take it down there. Um, normally I'd put a little tiny bit of, and this is terrible, hair lacquer on a brush mm. and set your eyebrows, but we won't do that today. So I, you, you, I've seen your dresses, that, you know, they're really, really lush. So I'm going to do some eyeliner on you. Oh, no, I'll get you to hold it, sorry. Um, and I've got lots of, um, what I'm going to use now, I should say, um, and I can't remember what they call this, but you get it from Screen Face, so you can get it from anywhere. And it's, um, it's specially for mixing eyeliner. And the reason I don't use water is because it, it just dissolves and never stays on quite well. So I'm gonna do a mix of black and brown black and brown and you also by using this um, product you get a lovely texture so again what you should do is clean your hands in between but I'm afraid I haven't got time so I want you to look down just look at your feet and I'm going to come in from the outside along and what I do is I just very gently pull the eyelid up just so you can get right into the the root all right here's another one um What's they do with that? Got some more here. I love this stuff. I'm sure you can use it for anything. I'm going to put a tiny bit of brown in. Right. Are you okay sitting there? You're all right. Mm -hmm. And so, don't open your eye, but I'm just going to lift it up. This way you can get right down to the root, to where the hair is. And gonna, now with your eyes down, can you look to your left? Go ahead to think then. And I'm gonna just bring it down here. So, meanwhile, back to, going back to here, look down for me. Along. You don't want to have a drink when you do this. <laughs> um, and what, what your, I don't know if anybody, any other makeup artists do this, but I have to hold my breath because I'm so worried that my brush will move. And I hold my breath for as long as I can. This is my way of drying it. I don't know if it does it, but it looks good on set. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of black. And just go over this close to the eyelashes. It's very difficult to do eyeliner quickly. But sometimes it's the best way. So, if you open your eye for me, have a look. Looks very natural. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> <laughs> no one would ever know you had it. You were wearing it. And I'm going to take a nice eyeshadow and just take it over 
your eye just so it's I always when I do this I start from the outside because that's where you want the heaviest color and what's left on the inside you just sweep it across the eye it's as quick as that to do eyeshadow oh, I'll, I'll make you pay for these tips I come out, come in, across, just this lever there, and what's left, wham, it's done. Can I see you in the mirror, just to see if they're the same? Can I hold the mirror? Look down for me. Whammy. They look great. I love the colours on you. It's not often I get excited, but I love this. I'm just going to go over it with a tiny bit more. I'm not a mad, I don't know why I'm shouting. I'm not a mad lover of highlighter, um, but what I use highlighter for is really just to blend the edges of the eyeshadow. Um, and if I take another brush, I personally like to use brushes that have long, that are long hair, so you're not using a lot of powder, and it's dead easy to, here, yeah, so this, this one right there. So if I take a lighter colour, with a tiny bit of iridescent to it, with a bit of pink, because I do like, I love, and I take it just up here, Gorgeous, if I say so myself. When I work, or when I used to be, used to work, I couldn't, I couldn't talk. I used to say, I'm so sorry, but I can't talk while I do this makeup. And, and then I never stopped talking, never closed my mouth the whole time I was doing it. It was one of my, uh, I'm just going to take it a little bit pale there, a little bit pale there, and make sure you don't get any. Now I'm going to ask you, if you don't mind, to put your own mascara on. Or would, would you like me to do it? Uh, I don't mind either, if you trust me. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I don't. I suddenly remembered. I did it. Oh God, I can't remember. Oh God, it was awful. There was a lady who said, "Yeah, no, I can do my own makeup. I can do my." Own. And I had spent hours doing it, and she went. Really? Oh, I'm ever so sorry, Mandy. I've got it all over my face. I went. It's not just over your eyes. It's everywhere. So, can you look up for me? So I always do the bottom ones first. And I take my time-ish. I use, what I tend to do, when I do, even when I do my own eyelashes, I don't go like that. Mm. With the bottom ones, I just use the tip. That way you won't get it, look up, you won't get it over your, from your eyes, eyelashes to the face. And I hold my breath. I haven't got any full side lashes here because I think they will look lovely on you. I'll get some for you next time. Um, Does that mean I can come back again? Oh, I would love you to. Wow. That's a treat. Because we do full side lashes. And do really, really glam makeup. So, look down for me. I'll go out and buy some eyelash curlers. I've, my, my last one's broke. A lady used them and broke them. God knows what she was doing with them. Huh? 
Did you show your family your makeup? Oh. Yeah. Now, a little bit of advice. If you, when you're doing your eyelashes, mm. get makeup on your face, don't rub it off. Just take a little bit of moisturizer or something like that, a cotton wool bud, and just use that as a little tiny cleanser. And what it does, it will take it off, but it won't destroy what you've just put on. And I just got, oh, I don't think I, it just acts as a really good cleanser. I have actually just used moisturizer as a cleanser. So we've done eyelashes. Um, I'm going to buy, next time I'm going to buy some special eyelashes for you. Mm. And I'm going to buy some individual ones and show you how to put them on. I know, oh, it's exciting, oh, is it not? So, a bit of blusher. So I'd like you to smile. And I'm going to use a few colours. This is how I do blusher. A few colours, I put it all on. And, very lightly, just take, see, you can feel how lightly it is. Mm. And as it's a special occasion, I'm just going to take it around the hairline. You want to get a big brush that just goes everywhere. And when you're doing it, put a tiny bit on your chin. Don't put it on your nose because it looks like you've got a cold. Wow. Don't you look good? Lippy, what kind of lipstick do you normally wear? Um, hmm. Depends on when and what I wear. Do you wear, oh here we are, do you wear a lot of makeup? Not really, I mean, I do wear makeups every day but kind of very light, almost like natural looking. Oh, could you, could you do your, um, yeah. keep face? I just don't want to look ill, you know, especially when I get <laughs> early in the morning. I don't want to show my dark circles, so I'm just going to... The thing is, I, my, in my opinion, I don't like to see heavy eyes and heavy lips. Mm. I think it, you want the attention to go to one or the other. So I'm going to take an absolutely stunning colour. I can't tell you what it is. It's number 253. Whatever 253 is. Um, of um, any makeup artist will tell. Mac Pro. And it's just amazing. So if you mix it with a little bit of, um, sometimes I use moisturizer. And what I'm gonna do, this makeup mixer. Cause we want it to stay on. My lipstick stays on for days when I do it on other ladies, not myself. And there's a bee, he's coming for a, a wasp, no, a fly. He's coming for some makeup. <laughs> Oh, I get them all here, you know. Get them all here. Okay, so. I'm not going to put a lip liner on you. I'm just going to put a very nice sheen, natural colour. Whatever you're wearing, it, it is, it's easier to do the lips. If it's not right, I can, once you've got changed, I can change the makeup. It's easy to put on, but not easy to take off. I love doing your makeup. I wish that fly would go. A little trick. If you have a little um, cotton wool bud, which I, I, I don't know. I knew they were there. I just was checking if you knew. I'm going to use that one. Just take your cotton wool bud and just go down the centre of the mouth 
and it will give you a lovely shape so it means you can go across across and if you want it to stay on take a tissue open like so bloody flies I can't remember what where see F Pablo loves chasing flies so that's who killer when um, I do make up when I do, do weddings and stuff like that or whenever I do it, the lipstick stays on for hours do you smoke no <laughs> no because I tell you why because what you dare is to stop it going over your teeth open close and what it just gently relax if you take it along like that it takes it off the inside of your mouth it doesn't come over your t go over mm. your teeth Never. and that's it and then what you need to do is have a bush it sorry have a have a a glance is that no, can you turn, turn it around? Turn this right, so, so, I think we could put a little bit more blush on. It's, I, I must be honest, I'm not used to not having a mirror. And I've managed to get this all over my hand. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit more of blush on. And bring out the colour. What do you think of it? I like it. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Quite dramatic around the eyes. But you are dramatic. You are, and you? You're a dramatic lady. <laughs> Drama queen. <laughs> so I'm just going to take it over your brow bone, a little bit over, a bit more. A little bit of highlighter. I, I'm not a mad lover of highlighter. I like it when it's mixed with other products, but I don't like it on its own. I never have, even when it was fashion. And a little tiny bit on your chin, and that's there. Uh, you don't want to put it on your nose because it'll just make you look as evil or cold. <laughs> and et voila, madam. And always when you're working, have a very, very, very tidy so you know where everything is. I could, this is how I work. So, and let me take the, oh, I love your hair. Oh, thank you. I wish I had some, like yours. Sorry, I've got powder on your hair. <laughs> and that's it. Thank you so much. No, thank you. So, if you would like to get changed into your... I didn't make it very heavy. No, 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 it's okay. Because the drama is also on the dress. But maybe, are you okay with wearing false eyelashes? I'm fine. Okay, I'm I will go and buy some really nice ones to, to, to put on you. I have got a false eyelashes here, but they're here somewhere. They're really, really heavy ones. Um, while you go to get changed, I'll look for them. Okay. All right? Thank you very much. Come back in a minute. Oh, hi. Now Ulala has got changed and she's wearing this amazing dress which actually belongs to her mother and when her mother's finished with it, I would like it. Um, I just love the colours on it, it's just stunning. But it gives you some idea when you, it reflects, because when you're used to doing someone's makeup and you've got them covered in a white gown or something, you get the reflection from the white gown but you don't get the true colour when it's on the face. And so I'm just going to make, what I'd like to do is make the blusher a little bit stronger just to pick up the colours in the face. It is stunning dresses. Is it, does it come from Japan? Mm. So these are all Japanese um, animals, aren't they? Yeah. Um. I can't remember what you call this. No, I can't either. Um. But I love just a little bit of colour. It's lovely. You look really, really nice. I love the way. I'm going to take a little tiny bit of whoops on the nose. 
occasion to do that. And I'm just going to take a little bit of colour around the hairline, what's left on the brush, just to warm it up. And a bit on the chin. And I've never been able to pronounce that, but a little bit down there, just to warm you up a little bit there. And now you're ready for the ball. Mm. I think you look gorgeous. <laughs> I know. I am modest, of course. It's my makeup. And I'm just going to take a little bit of powder on. I don't like to see, I don't like to see a makeup which is just powdered to an inch of its life. It's really nice to see the natural skin coming through. Et voila, this is our, we're going out for tea, dear. To, we're going to Fortnum's, aren't we? Oh, yes, yes, please. Mm -hmm. Hi, tea. And I, I thank you very, very much. I love your hair. I wish I had your hair. Thank you. Your haircut, I love it. It's short at the back and long at the front. Thank you thank so, you so, so much. much. So we're going to do another one. Um, show people how to do. We could, what we, I think we could do is just go, each time go slightly heavier, slightly heavier, slightly heavier. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Oh, oh God. Oh. We live dangerously, you and me. Oh, me. Thank you very, very much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If there's any questions that you would like to ask about what makeup I've used, because I have t ripped off the labels of everything, because um, that's how I am. But I will be happy to answer any questions. Um, and I will give you my address if you want to send money. <laughs>